Hey everyone, my name's Dan and welcome to Danalog. I recently bought a PSP. Actually, I bought two PSPs and I'm so glad I bought at least one of them because this has become my most used device in my whole collection. This is an absolutely perfect handheld, the ultimate handheld. It is an incredible system just on its own, basically a pocket PS2, but it's also an incredible retro emulator. And today I wanna to tell you why you need a PSP, so let's get started. Now, if you're not familiar with the PSP, what's wrong with you? This thing's been around for 18 years. What, do you live under a rock or something? Is it time already to ruin Squid's day? It was Sony's answer to Nintendo's absolute domination of the handheld market, and I think they did it really well. The PS2 was already dominating home consoles, so Sony decided they need to be in that market with Nintendo and put their foot in that door. And they did it really well. This thing is incredibly powerful. The screen alone is a 4.3 inch widescreen LCD. It has a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is what modern TVs have. If you compare it to the Game Boy Advance SP, which only had a 2.9 inch screen and a three by four aspect ratio, this thing is like a Tesla and those are like horse and buggies. And not only was it just a great handheld on its own, it was essentially a pocketable PS2. You didn't really suffer any loss of graphics. I mean, obviously it's not as powerful as a PS2, but it was pretty dang close, especially for 2004, 2005. It was right there. If you look at the graphics on these things and you play it now, it's still really impressive what they did so long ago. And not only did it play games, you could also buy movies. There was UMD movies back in the day. So this was essentially an iPad for kids in the mid 2000s. So like sticky iPad kids have their iPads. We had these. So I, I guess was a sticky PSP kid. One thing that made the PSP so advanced were these little UMDs, these universal media discs. Now these had 1.8 gigs of memory, which is way more than the cartridges could hold for the Game Boy Advance. Also, this allowed them to put movies on there, which was crazy to have a movie on a portable system. It's kind of obsolete now because you can watch movies literally on anything. So you don't really need a little disc like this to play a movie, but it was really cool nonetheless. And the PS2 was around from 2004 all the way to 2014, which is a pretty long time, especially for a handheld. And it was followed by the PS Vita, which is a completely different story. Maybe we'll talk about that later. There were just so many great games on the PSP. Now I don't own all of them, I'm still just kind of starting my PSP collection, but I played a lot of PSP as a kid. I had one back then that I broke and it's gone forever, but I missed it, so that's why I bought a new one. There were games like Ratchet & Clank Size Matters, which is one of my favorite entries in the Ratchet & Clank franchise, which I love so much. And it didn't feel just like a portable port of Ratchet & Clank, it didn't feel shrunk down. It didn't feel like something simplified to make portable. It felt like a full-blown Ratchet & Clank game, and it even made its way onto the PS2 because of that. There was also the GTA games that were incredible. You had Liberty City Stories, which is based off of GTA 3, and Vice City Stories, which is obviously based off of Vice City. And then you had Chinatown Wars, which was also on the DS, which is kind of a little weird. It's not really like a full-blown GTA game like those other ones were. But the GTA games felt like full GTA games. Yeah, there was less pedestrians walking around, the map was a little bit smaller, the graphics weren't as good, but it was still an open world GTA game in your pocket, which is ridiculous. And these games still hold up. They're still a lot of fun. I still play Liberty City Stories all the time because it's a great GTA game and I love GTA. I could talk all day about how many great games there were on the PS2, like the God of War games. Those were great too, but I should stop because if you don't own a PS2, maybe that's the reason. Maybe you're not into those games. Maybe the PS2 era and the PSP games just aren't your thing. There's another reason, and the main reason why you need a PSP is because I think it is the best portable emulator you can get. So this white PSP I have is absolutely packed with emulators. It has everything on it. And you can see here all the different 
libraries from different consoles I have loaded onto this. So I have the Nintendo, the Neo Geo, the TurboGrafx-16, the Super Nintendo, the Atari 2600, the Sega Genesis, even the Neo Geo Pocket, Game Boy Color, even the MAME games from the arcade, literally everything you can think of, more games than you could ever play, you will never get bored, you will always have the game you're looking for from the past on here. It's really incredible how much this thing can do. And getting a PSP with these emulators on it or getting the emulators onto this PSP was not that difficult. Some other handhelds like the PS Vita and the 3DS are not easy to crack, especially the Vita. It, it really is difficult to crack that thing and get emulators on it, especially compared to this. This was super easy to get emulation on. If you wanna know how to do that, check out someone else's video. That's not what this video is about and I'm not the most tech savvy person, so I'm not the person to explain that to you. But once you do have emulators on this, it's perfect. It's the perfect form factor. It's a great size. The screen really looks incredible. You have this really great big D-pad, the buttons feel incredible. And most of all, you don't really need to use the little joystick that really kind of was a big drawback for the PSP. You just use the D-pad for most emulators. And if you're interested in emulators, especially portable emulators, you probably know how flooded the market is with all these different emulators, and you probably know that some of them are really expensive, and some of them aren't really that great. There are dozens of options. On the higher end, you have the I and Odin. On the lower end, you have the Miu Mini. So there are just so many options for emulators, and a lot of them will cost you a lot more than the PSP. I only paid about $75 for this PSP, and it's in perfect condition. And most of the handheld emulators now go for a lot more than $75. The battery life on the PSP is actually pretty good, especially if you're running emulators. It's about four to six. I've gotten maybe even more than six hours because I wasn't using a UMD. When you're using that disc, it has to spin the disc. It uses a lot more power. But if you're just running an emulator that's already downloaded on here, you don't have to do that. So this is actually really comparable to these brand new systems and this thing is old. It's almost as old as I am. Even if you look at new emulators, they kind of even look like a PSP, especially the Retroid 3. It's the same exact form factor. You have four buttons and a D-pad, but this has shoulder buttons and even a joystick if you want to use it, if you really feel like using it. So that's why I think the PSP is the ultimate handheld, is the ultimate handheld emulator, and I really think you should get yourself one if you're interested in emulation or if you're interested in going back and playing games from what I think is the best generation ever, the PS2 era. I think that these things are slept on now. And I think that a lot of people are gonna start buying these and they might even go up in price. So what I'm saying, just go out there, get yourself a PSP, maybe pick up a couple games or just download them on here and have them with you all the time. And enjoy a PSP, it really is great. It's a great little size, just throw it right in your pocket and it's with you all the time. And you really don't have to worry about it because they're not that expensive and they're plentiful. There are parts out there everywhere. It's just perfect. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. This was really fun for me to make. I've been super enthusiastic about the PSP. I've been talking about it to everyone I know. Like, hey, do you have a PSP? No, you should get one because they're great. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you love the PSP as much as I do. Let me know if you use it as an emulator like I do or you just like playing PSP games from back in the day. And like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for content in the future. Really enjoy making these videos and I really appreciate you all for the continued support on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.